Thank you all for coming today. My name is Tomoe Nakayama in Nakashima Propeller. I like to talk about the development optimized small cargo ship. We have shown the improvement of overall performance of the hull of a 499 gross tonnage cargo ship. These are today's main topics. Improvement of propulsion performance of ships is required from the viewpoint of environmental problems and operational economy. EEDI, EXI, and zero emission efforts has been made mainly for large vessels. But for small cargo ships, the calculation of gross tonnage is regulated by domestic law, which narrows flexibility in design. The stand of many domestic small cargo ships has a low resistance type so-called V-form. Since they have a V-form stand, the ducts are not that effective and the hull form, including energy saving device, has not been optimized. First, I'd like to talk about concept. Many ships being built today have separate design for the ship, the energy saving devices, and propellers. For this purpose, since its optimization of hull, propeller, and energy saving device is required. There are three concepts. First, optimization of hull. Second, installation of duct. Third, small blade propeller. Second, optimization of hull. Changing the volume of fore body and aft body by sh shifting the cargo space due to the lack of flexibility in the hull form. This will reduce the residual resistance. The black line is general sectional area curve of conventional ship. The red line is one of ship type proposed. Also, the midship area is changed. The fore body of proposed hull is designed to be slender. This is the profile of bulbous bow that we checked in model test. The black one has the volume near the base line. Red has the volume in the middle, and the overall shape is slender. Blue has the volume near the draft line. The fullness of the bulbous bow is expressed through there. This considers the distance from the draft. The results show that the bulbous bow with a large volume close to the draft tends to be more effective in lowering the resistance. So, model test was conducted with the bulbous bow with larger fullness of bulbous bow, and further improvement was obtained. As you can see, the web pattern are almost the same. The difference of change rate of residual coefficient from the equivalent value to model test of the conventional ship are shown for each form. A bulbous bulb with a large volume and a closer to the draft was the most effective. The shape of stun is shown in the left figure. The black line shows the conventional stun form and the red line proposed stun form. This table is obtained from A by B in the right figure. Based on the value in the table, the black line is called the V form, and the red line is called the U form. U form will work more for duct. Let's move on energy saving device. Figure shows the non-dimensionalized velocity distribution of axial component in the propeller disc. 
for conventional and the proposed hull width duct. The velocity distribution at 0.7 r position of the propeller shows that distribution's axial component of the proposed hull form is larger than that of conventional hull form around the position of the propeller top. Therefore, the amount of propeller cavitation will be reduced. In addition, the proposed hull form has a low, slower slope in the range of 0 to 19 degrees where propeller cavitation occurs. Therefore, the risk of propeller cavitation erosion is expected to be lower in the proposed hull than in conventional hull. The wake fraction in the propeller disc is reduced. No colored figures are model test results. Color figures are CFD results. These two trends are similar. Moreover, it matches the previous graph. This graph shows the non-dimensionalized velocity distribution of the radial component at the leading edge of duct of conventional and proposed hull. Around 270 to 90 degrees, it is thought that the duct of proposed hull generated more lift than that of conventional hull. Because distribution of radial component is smaller and the attack angle of the flow into the duct is larger. This picture shows the pressure distribution on the, of, on the surface of duct. The picture inside the duct is negative. Therefore, it can be assumed that the duct generated thrust. Table shows the change of self-propulsion factor of proposed hull based on conventional hull. Since no model test is conducted for the conventional hull, the ratio of CFD results, the model test of the proposed hull is taken at the equivalent model test result. The hull efficiency, the proposed hull with duct, is increased by 1.7% compared to the conventional hull. Next, propeller. The propellers are designed using the results of model tests, an equivalent model test. Figures show the conventional propeller and GPX propeller. GPX propeller can control the disappearance of cavitation even if the amount of cavitation increases and the chip rate can reduce the fluctuating pressure. The main particulars of the both propellers are shown in table. For these reasons, we adapted smaller blade propeller GPX and proposed hull. The propeller open efficiency of GPX propeller is increased by 2% compared to the conventional propeller. Finally, conclusion. Conclusions are these. That's all. Thank you for listening.